Hello friends, here in this video we will see what is meant by parallel axis theorem. Now parallel axis theorem, here I will write its statement. It states that the moment of inertia of any given figure about an axis parallel to the centroidal axis is taken as the sum of mi that is moment of inertia about the centroidal axis and the product of area and distance or we can say distance square or the square of the distance between the two axes. So here is the statement of parallel axis theorem that the moment of inertia of any given figure about an axis parallel to the centroidal axis is taken as the sum of mi about the centroidal axis and the product of area and distance square that is square of the distance between the two axes. Now this can be explained with the help of a diagram because in the statement whatever we have uh, read here it would be more simple if we draw the diagram and then it is explained. So here I'll explain this concept with the help of a simple diagram. Here we have x and y axis. This is the shape of the body having area capital A. Now suppose the centroidal axis that is here I am drawing the x axis. This is the x axis which is passing through the centroid G. And now I want to calculate moment of inertia about a different axis. I will call this as axis PQ. Now I want to calculate the moment of inertia about axis PQ not about axis XX. So here for such a case where we want to calculate moment of inertia on an axis which is parallel to the centroidal axis because xx axis would be called as the centroidal axis. So parallel to this we have axis PQ and now I want to calculate mi about PQ. So I will say that by parallel axis theorem mi that is moment of inertia about PQ is given by I suffix PQ will be equal to now I'll justify it with the statement that the moment of inertia of any given figure about an axis parallel to the centroidal axis. So moment of inertia about any given figure about an axis which is parallel to the centroidal axis so PQ is parallel to X axis is taken as the sum of that is addition of mi about the centroidal axis that is about xx axis because pq is parallel to xx plus it is and the product of area and distance square between the two axes so area is capital A so it is the product of area into distance now which distance the distance between the two axes in that distance I will write it as small h 
so i have to make the square of this distance as per the parallel axis theorem so i'll keep this as equation number 1 so now it is very much clear that the moment of inertia of any given figure about an axis parallel to the centroidal axis is taken as the sum addition of mi about the centroidal axis that is i x x and the product of area and distance square and the product of that is the multiplication of area and distance square between the two axes so this is the parallel axis theorem i can give a similar example that first of all what i will do i'll write down that therefore from equation number 1 am i moment of inertia about an axis parallel to x axis can be calculated so here we can calculate the moment of inertia about an axis parallel to x next similarly again if i have a capital area which is denoted by capital a and next the centroidal axis is y axis which is passing through the centroid and i want to calculate moment of inertia about an axis which is parallel to y i'll call this that as ab and the distance between them i will denote it as small h so here again by parallel axis theorem am i about ab is given by that is it is parallel to y so here this will be i ab is equal to since ab is parallel to y axis so here i'll take i y y previously pq was parallel to x axis so i have taken i x x plus area total area into distance square that is h square this is my equation number second so i can say that therefore from equation number second am i about an axis parallel to y axis can be calculated so in this video we have seen what is the statement of parallel axis theorem and understood that with the help of two examples of calculation of mi about any axis parallel to x or y and here we complete this concept